Today we are going to be looking at how to adjust your Cobra dark speed driver. We'll cover all three models within this video and have marked chapter timelines in the description down below so you can cut to different parts of the video depending on what driver you're looking to adjust. Before we start adjusting, the dark speed comes in three editions, the dark speed LS, the dark speed X, and the dark speed max all of which have the my flight adjustable loft sleeve which goes plus or minus one and a half degrees loft the dark speed max also features an adjustable back and heel weight positions for fine tuning draw bias for maximum forgiveness and control as cobra have attempted to build the ultimate fairway finder the dark speed x offers great speed and stability making it the fastest and most stable driver cobra have ever produced designed to cater to a wide range of golfers from professionals to amateurs seeking maximum distance higher launch and enhanced stability the dark speed x also features the adjustable hosel as well as two adjustable back and heel weights. Now lastly, the Darkspeed LS. The Darkspeed LS is tailored to golfers with faster swing speeds, offering a low launch and low spin head design for maximum distance and workability. The Darkspeed LS also features three adjustable weights, allowing for additional adjustment to optimize spin and forgiveness. To start off, if you've never adjusted a driver before, take your adjustment wrench, place it into the top of the screw and start to turn anti-clockwise. This will slowly loosen the driver head from the shaft. However, if you want to tighten the screw, of course, turn clockwise until you hear a, which lets you know the screw is securely in place and prevents over tightening. Adjusting the two weights on the head of the Darkspeed X is incredibly easy. Simply unscrew the weights out of the head to start off with. We'll move the three ground weight to the front and the 12 ground weight to the back. In this setting, with more weight in the back of the driver, it will be more stable and forgiving, spinning the ball a little bit more. However, if you have the 12 ground weight at the front of the head and the three ground weight at the back, it will give you lower spin and more distance. The Darkspeed Max also has two adjustable weights, meaning if you move the 12 ground weight to the heel of the head, this will offer more of a draw bias or right to left bias. The Darkspeed LS is slightly different and has three adjustable weights. If you keep the 12 gram weight in the back of the head, you prioritize higher ball flight. If you move the 12 gram weight to the heel of the driver, you get a more neutral ball flight, or if you move the 12 gram weight to the toe of the driver, you get a slight fade bias or left to right bias. Now, moving on to the MyFly adjustable hosel. This hosel allows you to make adjustments to loft and lie, and you can change the launch and trajectory, change the spin up to 450 RPM, raise or lower the loft by one and a half degrees, and there's eight settings in total. Five of them are just loft related, and three are loft and draw related. Let's say, for example, I want to reduce loft. If I rotate the hosel one notch from the standard setting to minus one, slide the head back on and tighten, this driver will now play as an eight degree driver, will sit the face a little bit more open, and when I hit the ball, it will come off the tee a little lower and having a little less spin. I could even go two notches to the minus 1.5 degrees. This will help when hitting the ball too high and too spinny. Let's say for example, I want more loft. You can rotate the hosel one notch to add one degree of loft to give this driver 10 degrees of loft, or two notches to make it a 10 and a half degree driver. These settings allow the driver to sit a little bit more closed at address, and the ball will launch higher and with more spin. If you rotate the hosel 180 degrees from the STD or standard setting, you will see three draw settings, STD draw, minus one degree draw, and plus one degree draw. These two settings essentially make the driver sit a little bit more upright at address, which promotes a draw or right to left bias on all of your shots. So if I choose the standard draw setting, this driver will play at nine degree, but be more upright, but you can also choose minus or plus one degree loft within its natural draw setting. So there you have it. That is how to adjust your Cobra dark speed driver. When buying a dark speed driver, our first bit of advice is to pick the right head that suits your game. Secondly, choose the correct default loft that suits you. Third, choose the correct shaft that suits your swing speed. And finally, get to adjusting the head weights and the MyFly loft to dial in your dark speed driver. If you found this video helpful, drop a like down below and subscribe to the Golf Bidder YouTube channel for more golf equipment videos. See you in the next one.